Man, friggin' testic. Okay, so everybody's got a penny. Why did I give you a penny? We're, we're going to do something. Close. Madeline says I'm going to want you to flip it. Now, I think the problem with flipping it is we know a lot about that already, right? If you flip a coin, if you flip a coin, and then you, you just catch it and put it on your hand, why do we do that? Because we're bored. Okay, that's, that's a fair answer. Why else do we do it sometimes? Solve arguments. To solve arguments. Who's taking the trash out? <laughs> you. <laughs> you. I didn't see what it was on your head. It doesn't matter. You're taking it out today. That's what I mean. We use it to solve arguments because, as you guys said, it's 50-50. Because the chance of heads should be 50%. And that's got a standard deviation, which is fantastic and wonderful. And we do it. But we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. That goes back to who asked about standard deviation. We'll come back to what, what the standard deviations are for these things. And we'll, we'll get around to it. So, like, on average, on average, the average number of heads you get would be, would be what? In general, in general. If you flip it a bunch of times, half of that, yeah? It would be, it would be one half. I'm going to put n, if that's okay with you guys, where n is the number of times you flip. Right. So that makes perfect sense. It really is happening. Here's what I want, to, I want to do. I don't want to analyze flipping a coin because we already know what the answers are. Here's what I want you guys to do. And we may have to move out of this room a little bit to collect the data because the desks are tilted. I want you to spin the coins and let them fall flat to the ground and then mark what happens. So we're going to spin the coin instead of flipping it. We're going to spin the coin. And what I want to know is I want to know what the chance of heads is when a coin is spun and allowed to fall. Let's set up some rules here. Let's set up some rules here, okay? For each of you, spin it 10 times. Spin it 10 times for each of you. That way we each get 10, so we'll have like 200 or so trials all together. Let's make up some other rules. Here's why I want you to move around the room, maybe even go out the hallway to do this. If it bounces off anything, don't count it. So if it bounces off a book or if it bounces off a bottle, don't count that because that means the spin is being interrupted by something else and therefore introduces a variable I don't know how to control for. Okay? Is it working okay on the desks? Is it, is it behaving itself? Okay. I thought they were too tilted. If you need if you need flatness, just go out in the hallway or on the floor here. This is I think the floor is okay. The, the, the tile job is really nice. It doesn't have too much of an overlap, so I think it'll spin over that. Let's try it. I guess we can stop the camera too. Here are the 